Klinger argues that not only would there be no quid pro quo for such an end of war declaration, but also a peace declaration would be meaningless if North Korean conventional forces still threaten the South. Biden's first foreign leader to visit the White House was Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga. The two leaders ended their summit with a joint statement objecting to China's unlawful maritime claims in the South China Sea and underscoring peace and stability in Taiwan. Security experts do not believe South Korea will be so forward-leaning with its top trade partner, China, which South Korea believes is crucial for nuclear negotiations with North Korea. Nonetheless, there will be a push and pull, Green said, from Biden and Moon to shift their respective policy positions. Green believes that U.S. alliance efforts, such as the Quad Compass of the U.S., India, Australia, and Japan, are not meant to be hostile to China. The Quad and the Free and Open Indo-Pacific concept are not about containing China, he said. They're about reinforcing the rest of Asia to be more resilient against natural disasters, pandemics, and also Chinese coercion and pressure. Green gave several examples of how South Korea could participate in Quad efforts, such as vaccine diplomacy, infrastructure investment, and capacity building, such as contributing the radar and patrol boats that smaller Asian nations need. Kirby, likewise, said he expects the Moon Summit to explore ways that South Korea can cooperate trilaterally with the United States and Japan, in areas such as interoperability and security cooperation. There's a lot of potential there for better cooperation in the security environment, he said. Both countries also are mindful of Chinese growing influence and power in the region. Green said there is much room for a la carte options from the Quad menu. There's a lot of things on the menu that are not about containing China or stopping China or threatening China, he said. The problem for Seoul is if it's too afraid to do any of those a lot of us worry that Beijing may interpret the hesitancy to even do those kinds of things as a temptation for trying to think that pressure will work.